Alrighty, I think we're back, maybe, potentially. I think we are, is the voice, sound working? Looks like the sound's working. Anyways, hi, how's it going? Ah, man. So we are making slow but steady pro progress here. Um, I mean, we got we, we have more stuff that we got to do. Um, I have to get more iron, I think. Then I have to build this entire thing out and then get all those things. So, I mean, I can take care of that once I get the base on there. Um, I haven't done anything up there yet because I don't need to quite yet. Um, but let's see. Uh, we've got one of our hydrogen tanks or H2 generators here. We've got the hydrogen tank here. We're going to be doing the same thing over here uh, with both um, the generator and the tank. So that's something else that we got to look into. Um, can we? Okay. It's being silly. All right. So let's get some more iron. Okay. And then I kind of had an idea of something that I could do for uh, getting some stuff um, with the large rover once, you know, once we get to that point, of course. And so the basic idea is we're going to throw a hinge onto the back of it. And at the end of that hinge, uh, we're going to put some, you know, tubes and whatnot. And we're going to have that get connected to drills. Now, the pressure or the power that we're going to put on the hinge is going to be like really, really low. Um, so that way, as we're driving, if we're driving slow enough and the drills are, are kind of running, they're actually kind of like scooping up, you know, material as we're going. So that way, like even as I'm moving from place to place, I can still, you know, mine. And I think that will probably end up giving us uh, quite a lot of material. Now, I don't know how well it's going to work. It's possible that it could end up breaking um, rather easily, uh, depending on if we hit like a, I don't know, like a big bump or something. But I still want to try it just to kind of see if it'll work. Okay, can we get up here? Can we not get up here anymore? Is that not a thing that we can do? Okay. Come on. Can we, okay, you're just gonna be dumb this entire way. This is, this is not working very well. Um, yeah, all, all I'm doing now is just making a mess. Whatever. I don't know. I, I don't think it really matters, honestly. I mean, so it's a little bit deeper, but, you know, I think it works better. And we can go get up from any direction now instead of a little tiny sliver of area. So that's kind of useful. All right. Um, I do have to be careful about where I drill. Oh, hit the wrong button. So if we can keep this kind of here, like, I don't know, like a wall, I guess. And then just kind of, kind of dig out around it. I think that'll work. All right, and we should be filling up. Apparently not enough though. Okay, 
Okay, where else can we put stuff? In here? Sure. That's about as much as I'm going to be able to put in here. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, so that should give us another couple thousand uh, iron, which is good. Okay, so 930 to 660 is 340-370, and I was getting about 200 iron per 370, so that's a little over 50%. That's, that's pretty good, I think. Okay, um, right, so what do I have to do now? Um, so we've got these things kind of set up. We've got this kind of set up. Um, all right, so I think I want to go here. Is that a tier three one? It is. Okay, so I'm going to have to make a tier three one of these. So H2 and then tier three. Okay. So if we drop it down here like that, oh, I need alloy plate. Okay. So give me alloy plate. All right, so we drop that straight down like that. Or do I want, whoops, um, I want to see what this looks like from the side. It's hard to see. Ugh. Did not want to do that. Um, okay, so then we'll put this over here. Actually, that'll work right there perfectly. Okay, so. Um, I wanted this to be kind of like the same way as the other one. Uh, nope, okay. Yeah, so we want it to go on there that way. Yeah, so these things are on this side, whereas the other way they were over there, so I was correct in getting that changed. Um, okay. And then H2 tank. No, tank. And I did do a tier 3 one, right? Yeah, okay. Um, tank. And then we did this one, so it's the flat side. Just like that, okay. So that's good to go. Um, we could throw some programmable blocks in here maybe. Although perhaps it would be better to put a solid block in there. Because right now, if we were to look on the other side, we've got this seam here. Whereas if we were to put a solid block behind here, that seam would disappear. So, hmm. I mean, I suppose it doesn't really matter, but we'll do it that way anyways, just for funsies. Um, okay. 
And then we need to throw on, uh, right, an angle piece here. So that will get all that in there. Um, okay, and I'm gonna need like 200 alloy plates. Yeah, probably about 200 alloy plates. Okay. All right, uh, 200. I might need more nickel. Yeah, I'm running a little low on nickel. Okay. What else do we need? Large steel tubes, tier three motors. All right, so we'll do some of these. Um, tier three motors, probably 30, I uh, will do 40. Um, okay. Small steel tubes, lots and lots of them. Actually, this needs a lot more large steel tubes, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. So let's just do 100 large steel tubes, and then we'll do a couple hundred small steel tubes. We'll do a couple hundred interior plates. Okay. And then the next thing that we have to put in here is another one of these. And then eventually this is gonna have to transition from here to the front somehow. I'm not sure yet. I mean, we could probably have it like run kind of like across here. Maybe that would work, I don't know. Um, okay. Okay, so that is now done. How are we looking on power? 12 hours? Okay. This thing needs tier three hydrogen components. Okay. I think I needed six of those. Okay. Um, and then once we start putting the shell on here, like the outer shell, uh, we can start worrying about where to put the wind turbines. But for now, I think we just gotta wait. And I'm also gonna have to figure out how I'm going to do the anchoring because that's going to be interesting. Hmm. Trying to think of what else I'm going to need in here. Uh, something I could do. Actually, how much space am I going to need vertically? Probably not that much. Okay, so we're going to throw some stairs on here and on here. So that way that can go up. And then we're gonna need some way to connect yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Um, Cause I have to think about where I wanna put the drone bays in here too. So I know that they're gonna have to go like over roughly here or in one more block to go no, they're gonna have to go here. So they're gonna have to be even with this here. And so long as we have to send in or 
bring in, I should say. Or I could have them, uh, I don't know, man. It's too much that I don't know what to do with yet. So that can go there, that's already got it. Do the same thing over here. Okay. So that'll go there. Um, as far as batteries go, I wanna have some batteries up there, I wanna have some batteries back here and probably some additional batteries hidden back in here somewhere. So we don't lose all of our batteries at once. I think it's probably a smart idea. I mean, I could stack a couple of batteries right here and then throw another build and repair system here. Hmm. 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 Okay, what do you need? You need steel plates. Okay, I guess we should just make a thousand steel plates. And we'll see how far that gets me. Um, okay, so now because this is technically on the, it's in this block area here, it doesn't actually connect to anything above here, even though these railings are here. If I were to try to put, um, catwalk steps across here, I'm not going to have anything to connect to here. So before I can do that, I need to have the sides figured out and how I want to connect all of that through. And I'm thinking, then again, it, it all depends on how I want to set this thing up. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Um, so if I were to put something like this here and then throw something like this here, and then do the same thing over here on this side, Then immediately after putting this on here, I could throw some stairs to get up to the upper level, which is where the drones are gonna be. And then because this is now in this block, I should be able to place some of the catwalk, yeah, some of these things in here, because now it has something to connect to. So we'll throw that one there We'll hop down here and we'll throw this one here. Okay. So that will let me get all the way through here. And then as far as what we want to put on the other side here, we have to be careful. Hmm. I mean, I'm thinking I'm going to put like, I don't know, like a solid block here, just to sort of build in, you know? Okay, oh shit, I thought I jumped way too far. Okay. Okay, so that can go there. And then we can continue putting these little catwalk plates through here. Or another thing that we could do Okay, well, no, hang on. Do I want to do it that way or do I want to do it a different way? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can do something real quick. 
So I want to see if I can put a regular old catwalk plate under here. Okay, I can. Good. Okay, and that is connected to the stairs there. Okay. So now I need to see if I can get this to sort of continue. Maybe. See, but then again, if I have the catwalk plates here, then I don't need, I don't need that. Yeah, I'm not gonna need these on top. Because then we can just walk across this and it'll be no problem. Okay, so that goes on to here, that goes on to here. Okay, so all that works. Um, which means that since this is on the bottom side, we can actually put a roof on top of here. And given the choice, I do a glass right here. In which case, we could probably put the drone bays in this area here because we'll have enough space between here. Okay. And then we're probably gonna wanna do a two by three area. I already had some, okay. Oh man. Okay, so then we want to go down here to Windows and get our 2x3 flat. I don't know which one we want to use. It looks like the inverted one. So then that will occupy this space here. But then it'll also act as a floor up here. So that's good. And then if I'm clever, Oh, it doesn't work that way? No? Okay. Um, I was gonna say, if I'm clever, I could probably get that to, you know, hop on there as needed. But I don't think it's gonna let me, so. But I need interior plates, okay. I can do that, I think. Yeah, okay. All right, so uh, catwalk plates here and here, and then if I can get it under there, I can, good. Okay. And then I could build this out. How many plates do I have? Four. I think I'm gonna need more than that. Uh, do you have any plates? You do not. And you only have a thousand iron left. Okay. Um, I think we can do a few more. Okay, hopefully that'll be enough. I feel like this isn't gonna be enough. I still have 37 left, so maybe it will be enough. Okay. So now we have kind of like a bridge that we can walk across, which is useful. All right, so we'll head down here and we'll walk across the bridge. And then what we should be able to do here is to place the rest of these going across here. Okay, so with that, we have crossed the area. So now we need to walk up here, get to the end, and now we need to start making our way back down. Okay. 
So what do we need to do that? <sighs> okay. So we're going to have to drop down two blocks. So we're going to need stairs. Okay. So then the first set of stairs, uh, we can put here. Get those all the way built up. And then I think we can put these other stairs on here. Haha. -ha. Okay. So that sort of works. Okay, but we're going to want this to be like a pressurized area, so we might actually have to change this around a little bit. Because right now, uh, this is using up the block below space. And this is using up the block right next to it, so I can't actually put any kind of a barrier in between these two. So where it's open, like open air through the steps here and into like this block area, um, that's just going to have, you know, air flowing right through it. So there's no real way to block that off. Um, let me think. Okay, D um, hmm. and because that little bridge there is open to the roof, I can't pressurize that. Hmm. Hmm. So I could block off the sides here if I really needed to. But then I would need some sort of a door or something in here. And that would take away from my operational space. So... How do I want to do this? Okay, and then from here we have one, two, three. I don't think that's going to work. Um, okay, so what if we get rid of this, uh, center it on that block, and instead we center it on that one? Because that leaves us a one by two here, and it leaves us a one by two over here, so it would be more centered I guess so we can grab this guy go with the inverted throw that one there and then do the same thing here okay so then we have this whole thing and then that creates the entire roof then we can just kinda finish this off over here give it a bit more structure and then, hmm. and then we need to figure out how we want to get everything else in here. So that can go there, and this can go there. <clears throat>
Now, if I remember correctly, I don't remember how much, like what the block usage was for the drone bay on here uh, when I was doing the train. I think it was just one block. I think it was. Pretty sure it was. Okay, so if that's the case, then if we want the edge of the thing to be, well, if we want the actual drone bay to be here, then we need the rotor to be on this block, which means that we're gonna need a uh, conveyor junction on this block. And likewise over here on this block. Okay, so rotor. And then we lock the rotor, we attach a small head. Okay. Looks like we've got a storm coming. Uh, rotor lock on, add small head. Okay. So that'll do for that. And then um, I have to remember, I think it was, what was it, two of these? I think. But I need interior plates for that. Okay, we've built a lot more of this stuff, so that's good. Um, we should go and fill up on... Okay, so I'm not going to need all of those. Definitely not going to need those. Probably not going to need those. Okay, do I have any more interior blocks? I don't. Okay, so it looks like we are going to have to get some more iron. Which is good because I need to recharge soon anyways, so. Okay. All right. Okay, so with this, I think, like I said before, I think this centers on the ore deposit. So if it's centered here, that means that it extends a pretty good distance that way, which I think is good. So that should be all full. All right. already jeez that's already full okay
Okay. for load that should give us another thousand ish steel plates if that's what I choose to use them for So what else do I need? I need out of here and also out of here. Okay, good to go. Okay, and then we'll just make a thousand plates right off the bat. Then I'm gonna go by and get even more iron because I know we're gonna need it. Ooh, I almost hit that tree. We also have a meteor storm inbound. Hopefully it doesn't hit anything. Oh geez, that is a lot. Okay, what do we got in here? Anything good? No? Okay. the hell was that? Did you just... What the... F I heard something either get made or get unmade, but that thing's off, so I don't... I don't understand. Okay, so we are at 38 minutes already. Okay, so it looks like that's roughly the edge. Which means we do still actually have a lot of iron left. Okay. That can go there. Sorry if I'm not talking very much, there's, I mean, just mining iron, there's really not much to say. Um, 
I suppose I could dig out this way now. pretty much it for this load. All right. I parked in a very bad spot. This is all connected here, so we should be able to just. Are you kidding me? Okay. So that sort of kind of works, and it looks like that one is connected all the way through as well. Now, the only bad thing about using these is they're not like a full, like, I mean, it counts as a subgrid. I don't know if that's why you can't just deposit into here, but. Like you actually have to click and drag, you can't just like double click to deposit. So kind of annoying, but it is what it is, I guess. Okay, what else we got? Okay, I think that'll be good. Throw this in there, throw that in there. Okay. Now we have a lot more iron. So we can do another thousand of those. See how far that gets us. Um, how are we doing on food and water? We need food, okay. We have water, but we should probably make more. And then we'll also make one, uh, we'll just make like 10 food. And we'll put the food first, have the water just kind of do its thing. All right. Drink of the day is water. Water is good for you. Okay, kind of figured that was going to happen. Um, yeah, I think that'll be okay for now. Anyways, uh, let's see how the building is going and how far it has gone. So what, is, what does this need? Steel tubes. Really? Steel tubes? Okay. Oh, and interior plates too. So we'll do a couple hundred of these, a couple hundred of those, a few hundred of each. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay, so now we're kind of building up all around here, which is good. Looks like we've even started moving on to the beginning, or to the front, I should say. So we shouldn't need to make too many more uh, iron plates, at least to fill in these things anyways. So we're making progress, slow and steady. Um, let me think.
Um, okay, how are we doing for power? 11 hours, okay. All right, and we're at 45 minutes. How are we looking on iron? 330 there, 7,000 there. So I'd say we're still looking decent. We're definitely good on silicon for a while. So I could probably make 1,000 of those because that just takes silicon. Um, so that'll make up a lot of stuff. And this is looking pretty nice so far. It still bounces around a little bit, but because it's got that under there, it doesn't really bounce around that much. Yeah, you can kind of see it moving a little bit. That is kind of to be expected. Um, okay. So we've kind of got like all of these little things. The computer sending me alerts. Okay. What do we want to do next? Um, we could probably throw the tier three uh, cargo thingy thing on the here, in here somewhere. So that'll go, oh, but we need the tier three one. Yeah. Large cargo container tier three. Oh, that's small grid. I need large grid, please. Okay. So I can place it with steel plates. Okay. Which, do I have any? I do not. Can I get some? Yes, I can. Okay. So, take this guy. Okay, and we want that to be in here like this. And that's where that's going to sit, and it connects right in there, so that's good. Um, and then we can add all this to the build planner. Have it build out a bunch of stuff. Okay, how are we doing? Fully depleted in 17 hours. Interesting. Okay, so how are we looking? Still working on this. I think it's got other things to build, which is why it's slowing down on all of this, which is fine. Um, all of this was built. Ooh, I almost fell off. Um, so that looks nice. I like that. And then this puts us, yeah, so the top of this is even with the top of that. So we can do, I don't know, something back in here. Just line the whole thing with turbines. <laughs> I mean, we could, technically. I mean, this thing is going to be freaking huge, so. Ah, <sighs> okay. I could grab like a hundred of these things, like 200 of these things and like fill in the rest of this. And that should, well, we're only at 49 minutes, so I don't think it'll carry me all the way to the end of the video, but it'll get me close. Okay. And then we'll do, 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 do. Okay. By the way, this is not exciting at all. This is like one of the most boring and repetitive things that you could ever possibly think of doing. Okay.
I don't even think the 200 plates that I grabbed is going to be enough for all of this. It's going to take forever. And I still have to set up like the, like how I have it set up over there. I still have to do that over here. Place. Okay. I feel like there's another storm coming. Or we're already in a storm. I guess that works too. Seriously? Lightning. Okay, how many more blocks do we have? Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are now out. Okay. So yeah, that 200 wasn't even close to enough. So that was fun. What the f I just got struck by lightning. Are you kidding me? It's like, dude. Is it hitting other things too? What else is it damaging? I mean, that base looks fine. Got some scrap down here. <sighs> um, yeah. Oh, uh, also, we have only 5,000 iron. Okay, so we're gonna need to get more iron. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna turn around and go the other way here. Oh, hey. Not very good at making turns, apparently. Okay. So that'll work for there. At least if I'm underground, the lightning can't hit me, right? Right? Right?
what do we have for time? 55 minutes? All right. Is that everything? I think so. Okay, let's deposit the rest of this. Okay, and then... I mean, we could put the stone in the survival kit, right? Throw this stone in there too. And then I'd have more room in there. Then go into here and deposit that. Okay. Of here and then up here. Okay, so where can I stick stuff? I guess here's the only place left. Okay, and I think I can pick up the rest of the floaties that I got down there and still have a little room left over actually. Nice. I think that'll be good enough. Okay. Ah, man. Okay, so that's it for that. Grab the stone. What else do we need? Grab what I can out of here. All right, and then grab the rest. And good to go. Okay. So let's do another thousand plates right off the bat. Ooh, that's done now. Sweet. Okay, um, things that we're going to need. Programming blocks, or programmable blocks, I should say, because we're going to want that inventory management system in here. Um, I think I want to save this area for batteries. So we could put it, like, right here, maybe? Or we could put one facing this way and one facing this way. That would be kind of cool. Um, so yeah, let's get that done. Okay, so programmable. All right, so we'll put one here and then we'll have the other one here. We need displays. Okay. Okay, so this one is now built. 
we're going to throw in the inventory manager. Copy, check code, okay. Okay, so that's doing its thing. And then in this one, <clears throat> what do we want to put into this one? Uh, we could do the automatic doors, maybe. This one would be good too for power anal analyzing. Um, so we'll do that, we'll do that. Okay. <coughs> All right, how are we doing on power? 17 hours, good to go. I feel like we got like a boost of power or something. It's weird. Because we were at what, like 11 hours before? And all of a sudden we're at 17. Okay, so that is doing its thing. We still need interior plates. So I should make a bunch of those, at least a hundred. And then, okay. So ores, ingots, we still have eight. We have a lot of iron left. Um, and then large container number two for components, perfect. That's exactly how I wanted that to go. Okay, so this is kind of looking like the way I want it to look, so that's good. All right, and then this finally got finished, and then we're working on this stuff up here. So that's all good. And then eventually this is gonna be filled in, so there won't actually be anything in here. And then the way that you'll actually get into this is from down here. So you'll drop this off, you can walk on, walk off, you know, whatever. And it gives you a little bit of extra protection because, you know, you're going to be under the ship, basically, or under the rover. <coughs> so, we are at an hour and two minutes. Um, we've got some basic stuff going. We've got our little, little bridge from one side to the other side done. We've got our roof done. We've got where our drone bay is going to go started. Um, yeah, should be fun. Uh, and then another thing that I can do over here is I think if I set this up the same way they did, it's going to rise up above these blocks a little bit. So I could take and put like a two by one tip here, here, and here or something, or just here and here or just all the way across. I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure something out. But yeah. So it's coming together. Um, this thing is going to be heavy, extremely heavy. Um, but that's actually OK. What are we at so far? 2 million pounds? No, only 286,000 pounds. Oh, that's, that's super light. OK, I thought that it would be a lot heavier than that. OK. I mean, I think the wedge was about this heavy, wasn't it? So, yeah. And then I can do something under here, back here, I don't know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so we can go front to back pretty easily now. Um, there is actually a definition, like you can actually tell what's front and what's back now. Uh, this is good. I kind of want to put like another passageway, like right here, so you kind of like have to walk through here and then turn and then walk through here. And I can put, like, I don't know, something that takes up a corner. It's like one of the decorative blocks or whatever, and throw that kind of in there. I think that would kind of sort of work. And then this is light armor slope. Uh, I suppose I could throw that in here. Um, so we want to go this way, have that build. Um, how are we looking on plates, though? Are we all out? No, we're not. Okay. Okay. So, uh, that's what we got going on. Um, super fun. And I'm going to end the episode right here, taking a look at our work. 
It is definitely a work in progress, and I still have to put those other wheels on there, but it'll definitely work. It'll most definitely work. And then if I cover like the entire back end with just like turbines, we're gonna have a lot of power generation on here too. But I still have to figure out how I wanna do the boot to connect this thing to um, the ground. It's gonna be interesting. But yeah, so there's that. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, in the next episode, guess what we'll, we're gonna be doing? Building more. So yeah. I think I think this is actually going to look really really nice once it's done. And it'll be a a mobile base that I can be proud of. So, uh hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Later.